Here in the Bighorn Mountains, researchers just individually placed over 130 Mormon crickets into these. It's part of an ongoing research project that's been happening for over 10 years. By now, you've seen the images. Mormon crickets invading towns in Idaho, Nevada, and Colorado, covering nearly every square inch of ground. But those insects are much closer to home than many realize. USDA research ecologist Dr. Robert Srigley has dedicated the last 17 years to all things Mormon crickets. Mormon crickets have been a problem for subsistence farmers for a long time. And he and others believe there may be tens of thousands of them here, just beneath the surface in Wyoming's Bighorn Mountains. Srigley believes the bighorns are at an ideal elevation and have the perfect temperatures that Mormon crickets need to thrive. This is one of the areas where there's likely to be um, egg banks scattered around. We don't really know where they are. And that's why Srigley and his team have spent a lot of time here, even planting their own eggs in these bags. Examining how elevation, drought, temperatures, and nutrients affect the egg beds Mormon crickets lay. The parent is the one that's kind of in charge of when the eggs are going to develop. He hit a groundbreaking moment when he discovered the eggs, which were once thought to develop in a year, can actually delay developing. These are really long experiments. Here in the Bighorns, he has eggs that have been laying dormant for eight years and counting. What we're going to figure out in terms of how the outbreaks originate and how the migrations of the Mormon crickets in these bands move will have a lot to do with, with, with the egg beds. Once the perfect conditions hit, the eggs will develop and Mormon crickets could suddenly appear. An insect invasion possibly coming to a mountain range near you. And they walk in these um, huge bands that can be uh, two miles wide and it's hard to say how long, but they can cross areas for, you know, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. In the Bighorn Mountains, Haley Monaco, MTN News.